introduction to algebra. So remember algebra is using letters instead of numbers and we do that when we don't know the number or when the number might change. This is a lot of the language to do with algebra. So a pronumeral is a letter used instead of a number. So it's representing a number. An expression is a combination of algebraic terms, that is, letters and numbers. Added and subtracted and multiplied and divided, but no equal sign. If it's got an equal sign, it's going to be an equation instead. An algebraic term is part of an expression and they are separated into separate terms separated by plus or minus so we'll give examples of that so it'll be easier a coefficient is a number in front of a letter and it's multiplied by that pronumeral. So in fact, we'll skip down here. The coefficient of a is four, and this means four times a, and a constant is a number on its own, no letter. So this is an example of an algebraic expression. It doesn't have an equal sign on another side, so it's not an equation. How many terms has it got? They're separated by the plus and minus signs. So one, two, three, four. Four terms. What is the constant? That's the number that's on its own. Five. We could say plus five, and if it was a negative five, we'd definitely say negative five there. What is the coefficient of A? That's four coefficient of b. Now this is tricky, there's no number in front of b, but you'll remember if there's no number in front then the coefficient is 1. And the coefficient of c is a little bit tricky because we've got to keep the sign as well, and so when it's a negative in a term that will be negative 12 as the coefficient. So we've learnt some terms, some words I mean. So here is an expression the pronumerals are the letters, coefficients are numbers in front of letters, constant is a number added or subtracted on its own. A reminder that when we're doing operations, we might call this adding the sum. So if I want the sum of A and B, then that would be a plus b. The difference is minus. So the difference of a and b is a minus b. Oops, sorry. The product is times. So the product of a and b is a times b, and you'll remember in algebra we don't write the times sign, we just write the letters next to each other, ab. And that's the same as for up here. 4a means 4 times a, it's got that invisible times sign. The quotient is divide, so the quotient of a and b is a divided by b and again we write that as a over b. So we're just remembering the sum, the difference, the product and the quotient. Adding and subtracting with algebra we still write plus and minus. Multiplying we just write the two letters or the number and the letter together. No time sign involved. 
and dividing we use over usually instead of the divide sign.